sitting in a beautiful place like this, one can't help but feel and experience the isness of everything, how everything just is. It, it, it simply is. Like, uh, uh, it's just all f phenomena, like nature phenomena taking place. It's just ha happening. You could say that life is a happening, right? Everything is a happening, a happening. This is all a happening, a happening, happening, just happening happening ing everywhere is is happening 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 rice fields a happening a phenomena in nature uh, butterflies which you you can probably see right now but i can't see any neither but they're all over the place uh happening these plants whatever they are happening grass it's a happening, a phenomena of nature. Said, human being, male, uh, black hair, curly, a happening, a phenomena in nature, just a happening. Trees, a happening, happening, is, everything is, it, it, it is. Clouds, happening, trees are treeing, clouds are clouding. Mountains are mountaining. And rice plants are rising, and rocks are rocking, and uh, Said is siding, and it's all ising, ising, it is, just is, is, right? It, 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 it is just being, it, it, is, it is what it is. And so, if, if everything then is, a, is an occurrence, a phenomena in nature, an occurrence, a happening, an experience, then uh, it is really what obstructs in many ways the experience and it is done deliberately so that you can appreciate the experience when you're fully in it is the labeling, the linguistic labeling of everything. So I was looking at a ladybug. It's actually what inspired me to make the video. I can't see the ladybug no more. And I look at the ladybug and it's, it's nice and it's, it's I think or it was orange and black and white. And I said, mm, look at that ladybug. And then it occurred to me that the ladybug has a Thai name. They call it something. It's got a name in every language pretty much, right? And it's just a name given to a phenomena and occurrence in nature. Another way of organizing reality into boxes, right? So we box this, we call it lady, uh, ladybug. And we call this tree and we call this cloud and we call this mountain. I mean, these are all just happenings in nature. Nature is just a one process, one thing. So we call the cloud cloud. You know, we call it cloud, but really like the cloud is a river. And the you know, it, it comes from a river or from a sea, a, a body of water, a lake. It comes from an ocean. It comes from, you know, it's all like one thing. So I could look at the cloud and say, that's rain. Or I could look at it and say, that's lake. It's lake water. I could, I could say a bazillion things. Right? But we just label it. Oh, there's a cloud. It, it, that's the white thing. It's, it's called a cloud. There is a mountain. We call it a mountain. A tree. And we go on labeling reality. Labeling everything in reality. Right? I mean, there is a story of Buddha. And he was just like hanging around. Probably in all likelihood in a place similar to this. In all likelihood. He was hanging around with his boys. Right? His crew. His squad. They were hanging out. Taking a walk. I suppose in a similar path as this one. And uh, Mr. Buddha picks up a flower and gives it to uh, gives it to the first his first the first person that he sees his disciples right they're you know his his squad gives it to one of the crew says tell me something about this flower so he goes on describes to him I guess I don't know he tells him something about its origin and its color and its what type of flower and how long does it take to grow and uh, where it grows, etc. Buddha looks at him, nods, gives it to the next person in line and same thing happens. 
you know, gives him a descriptive, uh, analytical, uh, yeah, it gives him an analytical answer in regards to the flower. And that keeps happening, you know, keeps happening and happening and happening because everybody wants to show Buddha how smart they are, right? I mean, they're all trying to get enlightened and this is the teacher here, the, the master who got enlightened. And finally, Buddha gives it to someone and, uh, you know, the minute he gives him the flower, he just bursts out in laughter. And Buddha looks at him and says, well, I, clearly you get it. You get it. You know, no labeling of the experience, no labeling and describing and analyzing the thing. Simply a, a simple appreciation, which, you know, comes in the form of a, 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 a laughter, a smile, a, you know, a deep, intuitive appreciation of the beauty of the flower as opposed to describing it labeling it analyzing it da 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 da, da right i mean it, 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 because everything just is it's just a happening in nature it's just a phenomena things occurring this is an occurrence all of this is an occurrence it's all nature creation it's a spontaneous occurrence spontaneous happening and so in the same way, you know, that we're the same way too. Like human beings, we're just an occurrence, a phenomena in nature. Uh, but we go on giving ourselves names and taking them seriously and giving ourselves identities and roles and taking them seriously. I mean, it's one thing to play, say, this is my name, you know, and this is my, uh, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, this is my role for the moment. Uh, and it's another thing to take it seriously, right? Like say, uh, say you're feeling weak, but you're you sort of have this role in your in your family in your tribe as the strong one, but you're feeling weak. You don't want you're not strong right now, uh, and so the, the 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 happening is you, which is just a phenomena happening in nature, feeling drained of energy. But then you go on pretending you're not and that creates all kinds of resistance and all kinds of neurosis and all kinds of problems for you because you're not letting nature manifest as nature is manifesting at all times which always is ising it, it ising it always is because you have to stick to a particular role given to you in in in, in the society you're in in the tribe you're in in the group dynamic that you're in instead of just being flexible about the whole thing and realizing that you're no thing and so then you can be everything if you're no thing so i hear let's zoom out a little bit yeah let's give you guys a little bit of a thing here you stand up yeah so uh do you stop labeling things altogether that's up to you how you want to perceive reality I'm not ready to stop labeling things and I don't think you are neither because it's the programming is very strong and it might very well be that while we're in this plane of existence in the pl place in, in which consciousness is in this in this place at the moment oh we might indeed I think I saw some oh man I got a nasty bite over here just right now fresh you see I don't know what it is an ant maybe Anyway, a phenomena and happening right now. It's a happening. Uh, but maybe that while we're in this realm, while we're having this incarnation, that we might just have to continue to label things and continue to name them and continue to uh, analyze and describe. But perhaps we just could lighten up on the whole thing and just do it less and just kind of uh, learn how to enjoy or how to experience reality directly as opposed to linguistically and... Uh, intellectually right because you know when you think about something you're you're not fully with that thing if you're thinking about the flower you're not the flower i mean you could become literally the flower if your mind was so empty it was so empty of uh, discriminating and labeling things labeling right you could literally become the flower actually you will literally your awareness becomes the flower you are the flower at that point so so yeah so uh i guess what one can do then in that case is is just lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, calm the mind, meditate, uh, relax, chill, just just don't rush. You know, don't live so much in time, past and future. And that starts to happen naturally, I think. Less labeling, more being, more experiencing, right? And more describing also, because you could also alter your language and describe things as opposed to 
analyze them. So it's one thing to say this is a ladybug, uh, and it's another thing to begin to analyze the ladybug. I mean, uh, you, the more you analyze, I mean, you just describe, okay, well, I guess that's my programming. That's the way I know this whole thing. You say this is a ladybug, and you just kind of be with the ladybug. It's, you know, you be with the ladybug. But it's another thing to say this is, a, this is a ladybug. I mean, butterflies really get me because I look at a butterfly, and they're so beautiful. So I say this is a butterfly, and it's, I, there's no, nothing usually happens after. I can see a few over there. And nothing usually happens after. I don't analyze nothing because they're so beautiful that I, I go ahead. I describe the butterfly. So you can see one yeah, there. Uh, and then that's it. I just kind of be with the butterfly. And it just sort of draws a big smile on my face just seeing a butterfly. And perhaps, you know, learning how to do that, just describe things. You're in this pretty dense plane where, you know, people have to actually use language to communicate. For a very dense thing, by the way. Very dense thing. The density is pretty strong. Uh, and you're here and that's the drama you're playing right now. So you might as well get on with it because you want to be able to be living in simultaneously in different planes of consciousness all at the same time. And you're here. You signed up to be here. Therefore, you in one way or another, you have to play by you don't have to play, actually, but you you could make use of the of the situation and just, you know, still be in this plane, but be in other planes, too. So by being in this plane, you still speak language, you still communicate using language, but you lighten up on the whole thing. So describe things and just stop. No need to analyze them. No need to be like, well, this butterfly is that type. I mean, what, what's, what good is that going to do you anyway? You know, this, is, this butterfly comes from South America or this butterfly is native to this land and it's this color and it's that type. I mean, who made that? It's all categories made up anyway. It's all just made up, you know? So... And I mean, really, my answer, my question is, who cares? Who care? Who cares? Who cares? Why don't you just enjoy, be with the fly? Because if you're really being with the fly, I tell you, it's gonna draw the biggest smile on your face, and the biggest, uh, your mind will be empty, just in awe of the butterfly, you know, like just empty, you know, like, uh, like an idiot. <laughs> Same thing with a, like a beautiful view like this. I come here, I sit down here because I literally feel like I'm an idiot. My mind sort of just becomes empty, and I just look in awe. Just, you know, it's just in awe. I don't care about, you know, what type of mountain this is. And, yeah, I'm just in awe. It's, it's really, you know, awe. It's very, it's just awe. Awe, right? Awe is, it's got that quality of emptiness. It's that quality of mindlessness. That quality of, of, of just kind of being an idiot almost, right? I mean, you are, you know, you're just kind of like, uh, sitting there in uh, awe. Probably the term awe came because, you know, the awe, because you sit there and like, ah, 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 you know, like it's just so beautiful that you don't even know what to say. Your mind is blown, literally blown. Here's a butterfly. Ah, ah, butterfly. Ah, how cute. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, you can't help it when you're in nature, but these things sort of reveal themselves to you. Yeah, that definitely was an ant because I have another one here. Is another one that was definitely an ant. And it's the same thing with you, the human being, right? Here's a human being in front of you. Uh, you know, like it's the same thing. You're a human being. You're, you're an occurrence. You're a phenomenon in nature. You're a happening. And uh, perhaps you, uh, you could learn something by not labeling yourself so much. I'm this type of person. I'm that type of person. I like this. I don't, I mean, sure. You know, somebody offers you coffee or tea, you like tea more than coffee, you like coffee more than tea, so you choose. But you don't have to constantly tell yourself, I'm the type of uh, guy that loves tea, that drinks tea. You know, you can light up about the whole thing and stop labeling yourself so much and, and identifying yourself with things so much and just be in the moment. It isn't uh, denying that you have preferences. It isn't denying that you have uh, likes and dislikes. It's simply just be in, in the moment. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Saeed, do you wanna uh, do you wanna be uh, living in in Pai, in Pai Thailand, or do you wanna live in uh, Ottawa, Canada? No, thank you. I'll choose Pai Thailand. But I don't have to say I'm the type of guy that loves nature, and I'm a, you know I don't have to say that story to myself. I just have to live it moment to moment. I mean, who knows? Ten years from now, I might wanna go back to Canada. You never know. A year from now, I'm gonna go. It's unlikely, but let's say what ten years. I might be like, okay, I'm going back. But what, what, what about that story, Saeed? Aren't you the type of guy that loves to live in the tropics and in nature and this and that? No, no. It's just, it's all in the moment. I don't have to label it. 
But if you give me the preference right now, Saeed, would you like to live in Canada or would you like to live in, in Thailand? I'd say, ah, of course, Tha Thailand, Thailand, you know, without creating a story about it, without saying, you know, this and that. Okay, I like to live in Thailand right now. Uh, so, yeah, that isn't a, at all denying uh, that you are a human being with your own programming and preferences. It's simply not identifying with these things so much and just understand that things are always changing and you're part of this change because you're a phenomena, you're happening in nature. And that's the nature of phenomena, that in, and that's the nature of happening, is that it's always changing and you're always changing with it. And you're, you know, so you, you might as well flow with it. Um, okay, so that's about it. Thank you to all the Patreons for your support. Big kiss to you guys. And I appreciate all the love that you show via your uh, support. And if you would like to uh, show your support, a couple of bucks a month, uh, maybe one day host retreats here. You know, we got enough support in the future. So you could become part of that and you could be, uh, you know, we will be able to host retreats for pretty cheap here. Uh, so it will be even cheap for you. All you need to do is pay for the ticket because everything will be taken care of. So it's on you guys. If you want to uh, make that happen, support on Patreon or one-time donations via PayPal as well. All accepted. All in the description. All the love, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you.